Question 9 says the curve y equals 2x cubed minus ax squared plus 8x plus 2 passes through the point B where x is 4. And in part 1, we get told an extra bit of information. We also get told that B is a stationary point for a curve. That means at B, divide by the x equals 0. And x equals 4, we already know that. Find the value of the constant A. So we're going to have to find dy by the x, which would be uh, 2 3 would be 6x squared minus 2ax plus 8. Now this next bit, you actually get two marks for just one line of working here. Because dy by the x is 0 at the point where x is 4. So if we do all of that together, 6 times 4 squared minus 2a times 4 plus 8 must be equal to 0. Be really careful that you show all of that, because you need to show there was, again, there was somebody, I can't remember who, but there was somebody who did lots of good stuff, subbed in 4, rearranged it, found the value of a, at no point did they ever show it was equal to 0. And I think they got the value of a wrong, so I think they, they kind of didn't get the correct marks. I don't know what I would have done if they had got it right. You've got to be really careful. You can actually show that it's equal to zero if that's what you're intending. So we've got this. Now, this caught a few people out. Six times four squared. Be really careful about the, um, the mental arithmetic with this stuff. That's six times 16. So 10 times six is 60. What are we doing? We're doing six times 16. Six times six is 36. So we've got 96 as our value of six times 16. Take away 8a plus 8 is 0. So 104 take away 8a is 0. So 8a is 104. a is 104 over 8, which would be, what, 50, 52 over 4. So 26 over 2, so 13. Or however you work that out, however you want to arrive at the answer, that's the answer that we get. It's amazing how many people ended up one or two numbers out there with 14 and with 12 and 11 as the answer. Okay, part two. Now, this is where this got a little bit mean now. Because it says determine whether the point is a maximum or a minimum. Well, we know how we need to do this. To determine if it's a maximum or minimum, we find the second derivative, which would be. 12x minus 2a. Except we now know that a is 13, so that's 12x minus 26. 13. It's 2a then. It's all 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> so, um, if x equals 4, which is what happens at b, we've got. 12 times 4, so 48, take away 26, is 22, and the thing that matters is that that is bigger than 0, therefore we've got a minimum. Now a few things on this, you must show that it's bigger than 0. You can't just say it's 22, so that's a minimum. You have to say why that shows you it's a minimum, so 22 is bigger than 0, therefore it's a minimum. And if you did get the wrong value for A, as long as you're consistent in what you do here, I think you should get both of the marks. So if you had the wrong value for a, and you got d2y by the x squared based on your a, and you got a value for that when x is 4 based on your a, and you interpreted that correctly, then that's four marks for it. Part 3 is where it gets a little bit difficult if you've got the wrong value of a, because this now says, find the other stationary point. Now at a stationary point, dy by the x is 0. So we again are putting our dy by the x equal to 0. We now know that dy by the x is 6x squared minus 26x, because it was 2ax plus 8. So that's the equation that we're solving. First things first, I would say that equation, let's divide by 2.
and now we could factorise it, and we could factorise it because it's not that difficult, but the question has already told us that x equals 4 is the solution to this. So one of the brackets has to be x minus 4. We just need to find the other one. We must have a 3 at the start. We must have a 1 at the end. It must be a minus. So there's the other answer. x equals a third is the other root. x equals 4. We don't need to know. We only knew that one. x equals a third. I think it was difficult that, because if you got the wrong value of, of a, then you might have got that line, but you're probably slightly stuck beyond that, because there's a good chance if you got the wrong value of a, it wouldn't factorise anyway, and it certainly wouldn't have x minus 4 as a factor if you got the wrong value of a. So this, this all started to get a bit messy once you got beyond that. There we go. And that's maths.